Sure. Thanks for the opportunity to speak. Um, so, yeah, in addition to, uh, you know, creating forecasts for severe weather and doing our best to try to forecast when and where those okay. are going to occur, uh, forecasters also are tasked with uh, the responsibility of going out and performing uh, not, uh, severe storm surveys following these severe weather events. And so generally this involves getting into vehicles, driving around, um, we have, of course, some idea of where severe weather has occurred because, of course, we get reports from both our spotter network and emergency managers and also members of the media. And so, and also, of course, uh, there's radar data, which tells us where storms occurred. Now, in a large scale event like this, it's pretty obvious where the damage has occurred. And so uh, we are tasked with going out and essentially documenting scientifically uh, what has taken place on the ground. Yeah, so such a wide range of damage from across uh, the middle south. So with this, you know, I think it's probably pretty obvious some of the damage, but how can you really determine EF0, EF1? What do you look for in cases like this? Yeah, so uh, when we go out, we really need to see some uh, amount of detail to do that process. And so uh, we have, uh, with the uh, enhanced Vegeta scale, we have something called damage indicators. And a damage indicator is some sort of an object. Uh, it could be a tree, it could be a building, it could be a tower, that kind of thing. And so we have to determine the degree of damage to that specific damage indicator. So for example, uh, the damage may have occurred in a forested area and all the damage indicators that we have to go by are trees. Uh, and then they could be softwood trees or hardwood trees. And so um, the, uh, the scale um, enables us to discriminate between those different types of trees and the damage to them, uh, where they snapped, where they debarked, that kind of thing. Uh, and also the damage to buildings. And was it, uh, was it a, a mobile home or was it a home on a foundation? Uh, was it a large structure, uh, a large warehouse, or some other sort of business? And so, so we determine first the, the, what is the damage indicator that we have to uh, be able to assess the wind scale, but then also what was the degree of damage to that damage indicator? And so also during this process, and importantly, um, we do take into account engineering and construction standards on those buildings. And so uh, it can be a, a somewhat intimate process where you really have to kind of get up close mm -hmm. and you know you determine how uh, a structure was affixed to a foundation. Uh, was it done so uh, by nailing? Was it done so? Was it bolted to the foundation? All these types of things. Right. A and lot. So, a lot to consider. Sorry, Christopher, we are out of time, but thanks so much uh, for all the information, Christopher White with the National Weather Service.